Today is Hoshana Rabbah, and it's the day of the second seal. There are three seals on your fate, which is inscribed on Rosh Hashanah, and then the first seal is on Yom HaKippurim, and there's still a chance to be sealed for good on Hoshana Rabbah. It's the second seal. And quite frankly, you have until the end of Hanukkah to get your third seal. So you have time to repent or whatever the concept is until the third seal comes in. This second seal is... Uh, obviously a very important one because the abbreviation for uh, for Rosh Hashanah is Resh and then quotation marks Hey Rosh Hashanah and the abbreviation for uh, Hoshana Rabbah is the opposite of this, the Hippuk so this shows a great correlation between the two because Hoshana Rabbah is hey, quotation mark, resh. So, so um, uh, Rosh Hashanah was resh hey and Hoshana Rabbah rey hesh. So obviously there's a big thing and quite frankly that's enough right there. On Hoshana Rabbah, we bang the ara, Ariot, Ravot, you know, against the Bima or wherever on the floor. And there are five of these, and these are five Dinam, you know. And these five also correspond, now here we go, because the, everything is always simply included in words. Hoshana Rabbah has a gematria of Hoshana's He, Vav, Shin, Ayin, Nun, Aleph, and then Rabbah, Resh, Bet, Aleph. So Hoshana is 432, Rabbah is 203, that's 635, and then we add the letters of Hoshana, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and Rabba 3, that's 9 letters, that comes out to be 300, uh, 644, plus 2 words, Hoshana and Rabba, that's 646, and that's Elohim with a final mem. So Elohim, which is the name of Din, um, corresponds to Hoshana Rabbah. It's the end of the, the Elohim aspects, the Din aspects. And we're going to take on more of the, uh, uh, you know, kind of like Kedusha aspects of, of, of yud Hey vav Hey, the merciful aspects which are reflected in the yud heh vav -Hey name. And so this is kind of like the end of the Elohim name. See? The banging of it. Getting rid of the din. And there's a lot more here that I'm not going to delve into because these are my aspects, the surrounding aspects that are, you know, the, the seven times that one goes around the bima, seven loops, also reflect the tefillin, also reflect seven times going around the Kaaba for Muslims. And they get that from this, obviously. Um, Then there's some deeper things that are coming up for me. 
because you see, I think the godly soul, the yud he vav he, is what's communicated from man. And the animal soul, represented by Elohim, is what's with women. And for me, these two aspects, as I see this, that man gives the godly soul, woman the animal soul. And when you think about it, when you see in not only Jewish society, but in secular society, you see the women are preoccupied with children, and quite frankly, they preoccupied with their animal soul themselves in the way women dress and take care of their body and hair and makeup and clothes and restaurants and, you know, physical pleasures and physicality in general. Man doesn't have that in his root. A man is interested in godly aspects. That's why he's required to study Torah and a woman isn't. Something that's in my life right now is the idea of the destruction of the temples. Yesterday I spent a lot of time crying and See, I think crying is the natural instinct of the godly soul. And when they talk about simcha, that's only for the animal soul. You see? Because quite frankly, even in a marriage, they break a glass as a reminder of the destruction of the temple. There's a deeper aspect one should always be in mourning from the godly soul for the destruction of the temple. This temple, the first temple, had certain uh, kedusha, certain holiness that wasn't prevalent, uh, present in the second temple. They call it the, uh, the rod of Aaron, the, the jar of mana. I think some of the Aaron, the, the, the ark, too, was sunk into the ground and... and, and in the place of the stone of the, uh, uh, maybe the foundation stone was sunk into the ground and wasn't there at the second temple. I don't know. And they were waiting for the third temple to for, to, for these things to come up. Maybe the 15 Amos, maybe, maybe that's where it went. 15 Amos down. And that wasn't there at the second temple. So there's a holiness in the first temple, and the first temple lasted 410 years. This first temple of 410 years, what's 410 in our gematria? First of all, it's yit of yud tov, but it's the gematria of the word shema. The gamatria of the word Shema. Shin Mem Ayan is 410. And this reflects on the 410 years of the first temple. And for me, from now on, when I say the word Shema, I'm thinking of the first temple and its existence for 410 years, and that it's no longer in existence. The ayin in the Shema represents eyes. The water of the eyes is tears. That's the mem. Remember, remember Bruce Lee said, be like water? Well, that's the that's the ultimate, that's the ultimate uh, Tai Chi and Kung Fu of Judaism. The mem in the word Shema is water. 
And as we go backwards, the eyes have water. And then we go to the shin, and those are the three avos, the three fathers. Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov is the center. Center. Uh, Vav of the Shema, of the, of the three uh, prongs of the Shin. And this Shin that you see in the Shema is the secret of the Shia Hasharim. And the Shia Hasharim is the highest love song between. Hashem and, 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 and the Jewish man, the man, to reach completion. The shin is very holy. The shin, as they say, if you understand the first letter of the Shia Hashirim, you understand the entire thing. And that's, that's, the, that's the shin of the Shema, is the shin of the shin of, of, of Shia Hashirim. And this tears, of course, Tears are the expression of the love of the godly soul. So there's Simcha in the animal soul. But there's no Simcha in the godly soul. It's Simcha in a state of mourning for the destruction of the temple. So how can the godly soul be happy? How could the tree of life, of Chaim, be happy? The word lulav is 68, the same word as Chaim. On, 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 we start now, we start now for the prayers for rain. Rain in the eyes is tears. The water of the eyes is tears. It's a special energy that comes from this godly soul. And I think it's unique to man because only man can, can bring the godly soul. And there's a uniqueness of completion when the Dalit, the Dalit of the Shema, which are the four missing Sephirot in man, in the Vav, The Chokhmah, the Bina, and the Da, Vada, says 480. And when that comes together, that comes out to be 620. And when that 620 is three, that's the same as the Keta above. But when it merges with its own, when, when, when Zeampen is a Vav, is a six as expressed on 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 uh, Shemini Yitzeret, as its own day, its own day of a vav. And when it merges with the Chochmah, Bina, da, Vada'as, the Vada'as is what happened, on, on, especially on, 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 um, on today, as, as, as I say, on uh, uh, Hoshana Rabbah, 
And it's not surprising that this special day comes on its own vav. In and then we add the dalat of the four uh, uh, of the of the echad, because it's one day. We add this four to the man. And this man then has ten. Sapphire so wrote in his Ziranpen, and he's complete without the woman. Because that last part of him is a Malkus. He gains his own Malkus. And Yesod and Malkus. Ah, that's 496, 80. 576 plus uh, 4 plus 5 plus 1 becomes 586. Yes, so the Malkus is the Shofar and Yerushalayim and the Hotel 586. And when he gets this extra Dalit, when the Vav gets the extra Dalit, becomes ten. And then it's complete. You see. And then Malchus goes along, that's 496, and it goes along with the 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 Hokma, Bina, Vadas, that's that's six hundred and twenty. And it becomes a Keter Malkus of 1,116. And this Keter Malkus of 116, 1,116, is my brother's name, Shimon, with a final uh, noon of 700. Just, he's bringing me this. And Keter Malkus itself as 1,000, it, then once we, we take, we make it a Keter Malkus because the Malkus comes up like in a hippuk and crowns the Keter as the second head. And this 1,116 plus 2 of Keter and Malkus is 1,118, which is the Shema. And this Shema of 1,118, of the total six letters in the Shema, six words in the Shema, which are the Vav of this particular day that we're going to be of my birthday, which is tomorrow, as I'm saying this on, it's, it's it, my birthday is Shemini Yitzharet, the eighth day. Of closing, very much like the Hotum today. And we close this special festival of Sukkot. And this 1118 of the Shema is reflected in the first word of the Shema. And this one first word in the Shema is 410, which is the 410 years of the first temple, which I cry for. And that's a little, few words for today. <laughs>